Howdy, Jaybird here. Today I will be unboxing Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion. This is for 1-4 to four adventurers, ages 14 and up, that plays in about 30 minutes per player per adventure. This is actually a standalone expansion to Gloomhaven that adds four additional characters. The Demolitionist, the Hatchet, Red Guard, and Void Warden. So, come along with me and let's discover what's all in the box. So it looks like right on top inside the box we have a little advertisement pamphlet for Frosthaven, which is going to be Cephalo Fair's upcoming release. Uh, and it also looks like it on the back it talks about an app for a Gloomhaven narration. So first up we got this Welcome to Gloomhaven sheet. The top says stop, read this before you do anything else. And then it seems to go into kind of instructions about what you're going to find in the box, um, different components, it looks like some organizational stuff like a plastic tray, Ziploc bags, and the tokens you should expect to find. It also looks like it kind of tells you how to use the Ziplocs to organize everything, which is kind of nice, because with a lot of parts in the original Gloomhaven, and it looks like also in this, being organized is critical. On the back, it goes into detail about some of the tuck boxes and envelopes and different cards you're going to find. And it also says some of the boxes you should not be opening yet. And then also it looks like it has a QR code that will tell you how to play. Next up, we have a learn to play guide. It looks like it has some text kind of welcoming new adventurers and describing how it's a fully co-op game. And also, uh, look at that art for that potion bottle and that crystallization on it. That's really fun artwork. And then we also have, next up is a glossary. Um, glossaries, especially in games like Gloomhaven, are really critical because there's so many different cards and abilities that these really help answer questions when you're playing. Now we have a supplemental scenario book and also uh, the main scenario book. Looks like both of these have maps and a lot of the core storyline you'll be playing through during the game. So instead of having map tiles, you're primarily using these books, so you're staying more organized. Next up, it looks like we have some punch boards, a lot of different components for in-game play, um, some element type stuff looks like a lot of monster stuff and various chits uh, looks like six total punch boards we also have a sticker sheet of various towns buildings so it looks like these will be used on this map board likely kind of like the original gloomhaven did on their big map Let's see, these are some of the health trackers, kind of like we've seen in Gloomhaven, um, dial on each side. And now we got an, uh, an organizational tray with a lid on it, that's pretty nice. A ziplock full of standees for the monsters most likely, kind of like the original Gloomhaven. We got a roll of Ziplocs. Those are critical for staying organized in a large game like this. And it looks like there's multiple decks of cards, kind of like the original Gloomhaven. There's sets of cards for the monsters. There's item cards. There's story-based cards that drive the game forward that you make a decision between. Looks like they come in two different types of packages, one that's completely sealed and then some that are in kind of like the sticky envelope style pack, so you can put them back in if you like. In this bottom compartment, we have some of the main monster cards, and it looks like we also have a couple of dividers for the cards themselves and the envelopes that the monster cards sit into. 
now we have the four main boxes that says do not open until instructed to these all have a red sticker on them uh, the sticker does look like it's coming off a little bit so be careful I'm going to push it back down and set these aside and wait to open them of course next up we have the four main miniature boxes um, I'll take a look at the symbols and open these up so we can check out what the miniature looks like not knowing what symbol goes with which character yet I'll probably throw that up in post kind of give you a bigger idea what it is try to name it later but for now let's just take a look at what's inside each of these boxes I will say I really like each of these miniatures um, there's a lot of detail in them um, if you like to paint miniatures you could really do something cool with these personally I think they look great even in this original plastic color so either way you're going to enjoy using them while you play next up it looks like we have the actual character boxes that should if I'm correct based on my assumptions from the original Gloomhaven game have like all the cards and, and character sheets and your main board will sit will fit inside of these so it's easy to grab the character you're gonna play each time so let's take a look about what's inside so it looks like we have several different Dexter cards a couple with a stop label so don't look at these until you're instructed to uh, your main player board um, looks like a, a small little punch board with a couple of tokens on it that are character specific and a sheet that you can write on and, and track your character information as you play so that's what came in the box of Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion uh, I'm going to spend a little bit of time punching everything out organizing it which you can watch at the end of this video so thank you for watching and as always, play games and spread joy.